I, 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 oh, oh, it's okay. Okay, everybody, how are you guys doing? Uh, yeah, I, I recently I got a lot of comments from China. People talking about me was like, okay, you are a firearm guy, but right now it's every day you're taking PCPs. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a BS. We don't want to watch that anymore. So I'm sorry. Okay. Then I can do firearms and I have to PCP because this is my kit. Okay. The firearm is on my kit. Okay. It's just for fun, but this is for life. Okay? <laughs> we have to work, right? We have to work. We have to make money. We have to support the family, support everything, pay the tax. That's why I have to do PCP. If you have, a, if you don't like it, drop it. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Okay. So today I'm going to introduce the second version of our 9mm Terminator, okay, 357, okay. So a lot of people ask us about the, you know, a lot of things, you know, uh, you know, about this 9mm. As you know, 9mm is hard to get, right, because each time we got like, a, you know, 100, 200 in, into the United States and it got sold right away, sold out. And the, why we do this second version is because we have some improvement. Improvement on what? On the energy, on the punch power, on the speed. So, so right now, if you shoot a slug by this, you can have more speed. Like, like how, how, you know, if you ask me like a percentage what we improved, it's 30%, 30%, we improved. So we have more energy. Actually, it's like, if you go to hunting, right now, you can use this guy to kill like a 300 pound. Before, you know, we don't suggest to use this to, to do the 300 pound ball, but right now you can do this. Okay, so by the way, and uh, we're not going to ship the 9mm terminators like before, we like put that, put everything together, put in a nice box, right, and ship to you guys. But now so we have to ship you like this. You know why? Because it's too expensive. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Each terminator we shipped to you before I put into the box will cost me, including the box, around 120 bucks. That's a lot of money from me. So <laughs> it's not because I want to save the money, it's because I cannot get those box anymore. Those gun, gun box, gun case, it's hard to get right now because they're manufactured in China. So <laughs> I cannot get the cheap one. Each one will cost me like, you know, 50 bucks, 40 bucks, like, you know, twice, twice, and sometimes it's third times the price. So I give that up and put this, like this way, you know, manufactured it to you guys. And also another thing is, if you build this, like, you know, from 80% down, you just put them together, then you have more experience to see, you know, what the problem is. And if you're running any problems later on, you can always go back to the video and fix the problem by yourself instead of you ship to me. So I fix that for you. That of course, you know, double, double twice the money on shipping, right? So that's the reason why I, we took these videos. Okay, so let's cut the, cut the crap and start from the point. This is Dymo Terminator from AEA. Okay, let's take a look what's inside for this new version. Let's take a look. The menu, right? The menu tell you like uh, how to load the magazine and how to put the things together. Remember those, okay? You guys watch those, okay? Watch those, the magnet where I did put it. And how to pump, right? Everything and those are the warranty information. Okay, so who we are going to contact if you got a problem, just contact me. Okay, my email is uh, pcpcomusa at gmail.com. It's pcpcomusa at gmail.com. Okay, if you got any questions, problems you cannot solve. Okay, let's take a look inside. Everything looks the same, right? Everything looks the same, but this time's. Let's just take a look. Of course, manufacturer improved the chamber, the vault, the vault, and also the spring inside. And we may redo the, you know, something inside. That's why we have like 30% more energy on this gun. So right now I'm going to, you know, swap it. So I'm going to take the video and explain to you guys and let Jason do the do the rest of the job and tell you if anything happens, which part we should like put more, you know, attention on that. Okay, so let's uh, pause here. Thank you, guys. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, everybody, here comes uh, Jason. 
OK， 前清秀才。OK， here is the night mail， right？ After we open the box， this is what you get， a prop。Well, and with the O-rings, replace O-ring, right? Replace the O-ring, different size O-ring. Okay, and the wall. Okay, yeah. for the nine mil, I personally A A U S A give you guys actual one mag. Usually only got a one. We give you two. Okay, and also the. Okay, let's talk. Let, let, let's think about the, the real stock, right? Remember this, guys. Take a look. Hold on one second, Jason. Let's do slowly. Remember the O-ring on this side. Okay, the longer one, face to the bottom. And the carefully squeezing. Okay, don't squeeze too fast. Yeah, this is the way. Turn the open side down. This is the way to protect it. Then you will not like yeah, mistrack it, the wrench. Okay. So, it doesn't matter, we just do some test for them, so we don't have to physically pump it. Okay. And then, you take the gun, right? Plug in. Be careful. Be careful, twist it here, so you have to make sure it's on the right track, okay? Female and the male on the right track, otherwise you are going to like, you know, mess up the, the screws. And then cause leakings. And all the guns, when they produce, ship to United States, they already did the test, leaking test, okay? Okay, so here now you tell me, what the, what the what? Looks like that, right? <laughs> so how to fix this problem, right? You want to fix this problem? Because uh, this time, this is very, very firmly, they put the, the glue inside. So all you need to do just use a high dresser, you know, the fans, and heat it up and twist it. But when you twist it, twist it like, uh, you know, not loose, twist back that way, okay, clockwise, yeah. clockwise, okay, yeah. clockwise, twist it clockwise. Heat it up first on this side, then twist it, okay? So when we put every everything together, then you will see, bang, what's going on? My gun is leaking. Okay, okay. where is leaking? Where, why is leaking? Where is the leaking, okay? Let's, let's take a look, which part? Okay. You, you need to pay more attention on that. You don't take this off, okay? When you're checking the guns, if the gun's leaking, we just like take it off and it will be easier to show you like how to fix the leaking, the key part. The okay. possible leaking. Okay. When the leaking, if here. Yeah, okay, if it leaks over there, then. You make it empty. Okay, so if it leaks over here, then, I mean, you put some bubble here, if you see the bubble broke, that means it's leaking, right? Then one thing you need to do is you, you need to release you you release the air, right? You guys know already watch my video knows like it's just uh, unscrew the, the meter, okay? Then release the re release the all the all the compressed air inside, make it safe, then replace the O-ring, okay? See the size of O-ring? We have this the o-ring for you guys so you guys can replace it if it's leaking okay okay and here all you need just an iron wrench look this hole there's a small hole over there okay use <laughs> iron wrench use a wrench or lazo twist it okay so this is a Hunter claws, okay? So you see the O-ring over there? Okay, no. Take a look at the O-ring, okay? So what do you think, this one is leaking or not? Yeah, this one is leaking. It's leaking? Yep. Let's replace it now, so we can ship to the customer. In case, okay. <laughs> so it fixed the problem right yeah, away for you guys. <laughs> <coughs> Is that good? Is that wonderful? <laughs>
And sometimes also Jason mentioned about one thing. When you pump the air, right? When you pump the air from here, then you, you say like, what's going on with my meter? The meter didn't work, doesn't work. So all you need to do, just twist it, the meter, loose it, tight it, then it will work, okay? If the meter doesn't work, just tight it, loose it, tight it, then it will work. Okay, so say, uh, this is or this orange it's, is scratched. It's pretty. Scratched. It's see? Fucked. Okay. You can dump it. So the new one. Let me feel it. Yeah, it's messed up. It is messed up, okay. So let's put this on, put the new O-ring in. When you put it in, don't scratch it. Try not to scratch it. Put it all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, this is a video to show you guys how to, how to fix the problem by yourself. So you, you instead like uh, send me the gun, say, Bing, my gun doesn't work. I need to send it back to you. So you fix the problem for me. I say, oh, that's cool. Yeah, we can fix that for you. But that will take you time and also take you money and my money too. So this is an easy fix for you. Guys, actually, it's very easy, right? See? Yeah. Twist it to just gently till it's all the way down. All the way down to the bottom, see? Yeah, make sure. Okay. Hold it still, hold it still. Okay, see? Okay, like that. Okay, so this is all the way down, okay? Good. And another one is here. See? You see that O-ring over there? Yep, okay. see? But this O-ring is okay. That O-ring, yeah, okay, Jason says yep. okay, so we'll leave that one, okay? Two O-rings, okay? Two O-rings, let's let, let show them again, show them again. Okay, one. One's over there. Small yeah. O-ring. Small O-ring. And, and the big, big O-ring. Okay, the big O-ring is outside. Okay, guys. Let's take a look. Okay. Two O-rings, right? Okay, now, okay. Let's go in eight. Okay, so you got a two rings package. Okay, two rings package. Insurance package. When you put that in, remember you need to squeeze the the trigger. Squeeze the trigger. Okay. Just like the another HP, squeeze the trigger and give a little push. Okay. You let use an wrench, put it on, just like a handle. That's it. Yep. That's it. Then you're all set to go. Okay, remember two things leaking, fix the problem over there. If the meter doesn't work, release the gas, release the air inside, twist it, loose it, and tight it again, and pump the air again. Then you will see the meter works, okay? So, anything, Jason, about that? Let's go on the trigger part. Oh, be careful. Yeah, they know. They Don't know. use this. this. It's here. Pump there from there, okay? Front, yeah. not here. Okay, it's different. Different, okay? Different issue. Okay, another thing okay. is about that. When, when you take the gun, the first, you need. You cock it. You cock it and make sure there's a screw this. inside there, okay? Yep. The screw inside there, you need to tight it, screw it very tight. If it's not, unscrew it, put some like a glue, gun glue, okay? Yep. Then put it in. All you need is just add a wrench, okay? 
the Allen wrench like this. Squeeze here, in. Okay. Yep. Tighten it up. Then that's it. That's basically everything, right, Jason? Yeah. Yeah. That's how you put nine mil together. Okay. That's how you put the nine mil together. So if you got any problems, just yeah, just let me know. Okay. Let me finish this. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. So guys, so you guys know, right? How to fix the problems. So the leaking, actually we check the leaking before we, you know, even the manufacturers ship me the gun over there in China. They pump the air put into the storage for two weeks. Make sure there's no leaking, then release the air and ship it, ship it back here. But anything could happen, right? After release the air, lost O-ring, lose the air suddenly. So something happens, you know, some dust or whatever cause the leaking later on. So that's the major part, okay? And also the part sometimes may be leaking from here, right? You don't tighten it too much, remember this. If if you tighten it too much, it, it might break it, break the meter, okay? So let me, let me say again. Meter doesn't work, unscrew it, loose it, release the air, and tighten it up, and pump the air again. If it's leaking here, that's the most, most part leaking, right, Jason? So yeah. just replace the O-ring. O-ring, the new O-ring come with the package, okay? The third thing you need to do is the cork driver, okay? Cork handle driver, just tidy it up. If it's not, if you if you don't feel it's tidy enough, just loose it, put some gun glue, okay? Gun glue for the scope, whatever, then screw it up, screw it in. The reason, before we put the gun, gun glue, before, but sometimes somebody want to do some many, you know, customized things, they cause a problem, they cannot unloose it. So that's why we didn't put the glue. We did not glue it. So you need to put the glue, okay, if you wanted to, okay? So here we go. Basically, this is everything, right? Everything you need to, okay? Congratulations, you have our second generation AEA 9mm Terminator. <laughs> okay, thank you guys. If you have any questions, just leave the comments. If you have any problem with your guns, just contact me, pcpcomusa.gmail, okay? Thank you guys, bye-bye.